Welcome to the daily message on this feast of the transfiguration of our Lord. I've put the gospel reading for today on the screen. This is a story that we're quite familiar with, that uh, Peter, James, and John go up to the mountain with Jesus, and he becomes transfigured before them, and Moses and Elijah appear with him. And the reflections that I want to offer about this gospel reading are basically uh, two. One thing to remember is that after the transfiguration story, Jesus tells the disciples that his messiahship, his real identity, is one of suffering. That because of his love for the world and his love for his uh, followers, he knows he will have to suffer and die. And that's not something that they were ready to accept. The transfiguration speaks to us today in two ways. First of all, we are called to transfigure our own lives, to recreate ourselves, if you will, so that we become more and more closely aligned with the image of God in which we were created, to discover within ourselves and to express daily the deep love and compassion and sense of justice uh, and virtue that God has given to each one of us. So we're called to transfigure ourselves as Jesus was transfigured. And second, we are called to be agents of transfiguration for the world. We are called to make the world that place of justice and peace, which God intended from the very moment of creation. God in, did not intend for the world to be at odds and to be in such competition and to be uh, engaged in conflict uh, all the time. God created the world so that we could all live as one human family. God created the world so that we could all have a chance to thrive. God created the world so that we could all live in peace. And so it's our call as Christians to help transfigure the world and to remake it into what God intended from the very beginning of time. Thank you so much once again for watching and being a part of the daily message.